Oh, just got finished blowing that thing up at high altitude. Um, gonna take it on Convict Lake. This morning I stuck up my hand in there and like it would, made it numb. So might be freezing cold, cold, but I had to, I had this great idea of bringing this pool float to try to float across Convict Lake or and other lakes. Um, but I'm gonna try it out, see how it works. Now I'm walking down the Convict Lake. To go swimming. I'm going to try to uh, swim in the freezing cold water, but it'll be rejuvenating. This morning I put my hand in and I don't know what going swimming convict lake yeah freezing cold water rejuvenating yeah yeah nobody's here freaking nobody I have the whole lake to myself. Oh! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Oh! My float is flying away! Oh! Oh my god! I have to go get it. Fuck, I'm going in. Oh my god, it's cold, oh, it's cold as ice, oh, it's, oh my god. <sighs> my flow flew away in the wind. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I guess that's why nobody swims here. Oh, it's like 33 degrees, right above freezing. Ooh, feels good on the legs, though. <laughs> ah, it's actually not too bad once you get in. Mm. At least you don't have to worry about water moccasins. Water moccasins or alligators, there's no poisonous snakes or any poisonous, aqueous, anything. There are rattlesnakes here in the Sierras, but that's it. And those are rare, you know. Man, look at my floats way over there. Oh, man, I'll never get it. I'm gonna have to wait for it to fly. Oh, here comes a gust of wind. <laughs> my fucking <love> <laughs> my float so I'm gonna go get it hope I don't bust my ass <laughs> I need my float river I need my float float I'm 
I'll get away from this river, dude. I don't know. Stop recording too and stop start enjoying. <laughs> yeah, at the beach. Yeah, at the beach. Super freezing cold. I did actually go in. It was freezing cold. Literally right above freezing. But I don't know, once I got in, it wasn't that cold anymore. And I feel super rejuvenated. Like, yeah. Like a giant freaking ice bath. I feel good. All my muscles are, they're good now. No more soreness. My pool float's gonna fly away. Yeah, somebody else could have it, it's cool. That's when little kid use it. Dad. So for my birthday, that whole entire palace would be all for me. For free. That would be my castle, my palace for my 45th birthday. I mean, you can't ask for better than that. All for me, just me. Some pretty trail walking. Kind of like, makes one do trail sometimes. <laughs> Instead of dangerous die stuff. Living with extremes. Oh my god. Stronger than ever, like hurricane force winds and uh, heading down this, this trail back to the campsite. Supposed to snow and drop down in the 30s tonight.
was something in his mouth because it's always fun unforeseen circumstances can't see from the video but it's casting a nice light over everything this camera can't pick it up yeah man five in the morning I'm supposed to be doing laurel and bloody to the mountains today Woke up at one uh, forty in the morning. I never went back to sleep. I think for a little nap. And then I was dreaming, and then the wind pushed me, scared me, and it woke me up. I don't know. I guess I'm just too excited to sleep. But I did go to bed at like eight thirty. So um, yeah, I went to bed at like eight thirty. So. I mean, I didn't get that little sleep. But man, it's gonna suck. I don't see myself going back to sleep. So I guess I'm just gonna get up and drink coffee and go. I'm gonna head up Laurel, the safe way this time. Uh, yeah. But, but, uh, yeah, the safer way. But anyway, fuck. Well, it feels nice though. It's really the weather's beautiful and the wind is cold and all that good stuff. The moon is bright and the stars are out. And I guess one another reason why I couldn't sleep. I'm just looking around at all this, all this beauty. Like I can't see. The mountains. Man, you can't see the mountains. But I don't know, it's just nice. I like my little camping spot. That's the moon through the trees. I've just been laying watching the stars all night. The stars and the moon is bright, so it's uh, lighting up all the mountains. The clouds and everything is cool. Just can't see with the phone. Like I said, but uh, yeah. So I don't know. I might have to just get up and go. Fuck it. 
sunrise. Nice. My chill spot. Eat and drink coffee. <sighs> yeah. Cool. There's a bear shit in the woods and wipe his ass with a fluffy white rabbit. I don't know. But. <laughs> That's just how it is. For the record, I literally take better shits outside than I do inside. The very first time I took a shit outside, it was hard to squeeze it out. But after that, I'm like, man, this is way better. Cool. <laughs> Preparing to go up Laurel today, getting all my stuff together, uh, and I'm not feeling it today, but I got to do it. Uh, well, I'm just feeling like, I don't know, tired and didn't crappy sleep. My gut's kind of hurt, kind of queasy, whatever. Anyway. I said blocks are four, and I'm uh, I just kind of stressing out because I I want to bring my backpack with a little more stuff, just empty it, but bigger than a summit pack, so I could have like extra clothes and stuff because it rains. It's supposed to maybe rain and get freezing cold, and in the mountains that could happen like. Any freaking second. It's all of a sudden freezing cold, so kind of need to bring a little more stuff for hot, for cold. Extra, a little extra food and water too, because I'm. The plan is to do Laurel and then Bloody Mountain and then come back. By. And then come back by. Um, which is like a long ways. So, I just want to be prepared. I might not make it back till night time. It's like 8.30 in the morning. So, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm about to head up Laurel via this route, which doesn't look steep. But believe me, last time I was literally pulling myself up. I might find an easier route this time, man. Yeah. Anyway, here I go. Yeah. Man, it's hot. Ah. It's beautiful though. Cool breeze sometimes. Man, it's steep. So from the side view, this is how steep this is. Which of course the camera can't capture capture it but this is what I'm walking up yeah who I'm really struggling though lack of sleep and, and all that. I don't know just not the energy today but we must press on must press on I don't know what's worse. Loose gravel. Talus and scree are pulling himself up through bushes.
taking a break in the shade and it's pretty steep give me a little snack drink some wall wall some water I'm not looking forward to that part I'll be up there Break top. Scooping out red slate. I resorted to pulling myself up with the bushes. I think it'd just be faster and easier than that loose gravel and scree. So, here I go again on my own. Look at going down this old road I've ever known. Like a drifter, I was born to walk alone. Break time in the shade, part two. Breathing pretty hard. Oh, one shade. Get that view. These bushes, man, right there are savior. So many different reasons. Uh, leaf flew in my face. Uh, uh, man, I swear to God, just walking up this thing is so freaking steep. I mean, it <coughs> seems like going up the rock yesterday was better than this. I don't know. So loose gravel. Far. Anyway. <laughs> By the way, now I see. If I'd have kept going, it just got steeper and steeper and looser. Both looser and steeper. I don't know. There's no way I would have made it. There's no way. This is very super steep, super loose gravel. So I'm glad I've made the decision to turn around. Well, I made it up the super steep hill. Quite the same as where me and Tony came up. Going up that hill slate is like, I mean, that slope to the halfway up this mountain or more or whatever, is like going up the hill by false white like three times in a row. I swear, at, at least. Oh my God. Yeah. Well, I don't know if that's the ridge that leads to the top. Or go up this way. Go up like that way to that mountain right there. Maybe go up there. 
and then across it looks like on the map that's where it is but it's kind of sketchy that looks like a safer way to go for sure but um longer i don't know i have to see i guess i have to go closer up here and see what's up with that So I'm going up it's kind of terrifying way but it looks like the right way on Tao Topo so here I go it's cool it's, I don't know it doesn't look right but it, it, apparently it is yep looks like the right way Convict Lake way down there. Back to doing some class three scrambles. Oh, fuck. Oh. Yes, Lade. That lake's pretty big. I was gonna float in the middle of it from one end to the other on a pool floaty <laughs> a little uh three dollar pool floaty that actually lost half its air after like 30 minutes after me blowing it up with my lungs at high altitude uh so it just like and it was plugged it just i don't know piece of junk got them three for ten bucks on amazon i brought one anyway the lake's a lot bigger like that's uh, that's an actual like pontoon boat now that i'm up here i'm like yeah probably would have not the best idea <laughs> but i didn't do it though i just went swimming and freezing cold and it was awesome anyway now i gotta fly my way up to the top of this mount laurel so far kick my fucking ass and on goes the helmet hmm that's kind of stupid but see I don't know you want to take chances this looks like a nice place to sleep if I have to this is just not cool this is all the ridge consists of I mean, it's not too bad but it's slow so apparently I follow this ridge all the way to the top it doesn't look too bad like it doesn't look too scary and I, I mean what I went just went through looks worse but I'll have to see hey Slade maybe to save some time I could slide down that depending on how steep it is on my butt and then walk down this way back to uh, the bottom hmm It's kind of terrifying walking up this ridge. Wonder what happens when I get up there? Oh, I wish you wouldn't have done this. Maybe it's not too late to turn around. So apparently, I need to climb up this. or some shit. Fuck. I can't believe I came that far. So I got to the top of this, which I had to rock climb straight up. Class four. Three or four. Uh, now 
Yeah, things look a lot safer now. Feeling better. I don't know what was up here. I don't know if what was over that mini mountain. I hope now. I hope that's the top right there. I'm not really sure which one it is though. I think that it must be it. It's the highest peak. Looks like me. I'm hungry. Maybe I'll go around this way if I can. I don't know if it's too steep. Now I'm looking at it, it doesn't look too bad, but I don't know. I have to walk up to it to see. Whew. Looks like it's a chipmunk coming to see me. Way up here. <laughs> oh, must went to the little hole. Yes, lady, this is where I'm calling you from. That's the town of Mammoth in Mammoth Mountain. In close. That's like they had a gust of wind. It's like 100 miles per hour to sit down, but it lasts like 30 seconds. I was like, no! Don't blow me off the mountain. I'm almost there. <laughs> but of course. Ha ha. So at some point there is a tra actual trail. But it just starts in the middle of nowhere. After you go over the ridges, which are like mountains in themselves. Pretty sketchy, but you know. Kind of comforting to have a trail it's just easier on the feet even though i don't like trails but i'm an off trail person but in this case for a half a mile i'm cool with it it's out of nowhere i don't know 75 mile per hour winds 20 degree uh, wind just rips through me like five seed already stopped like five seed. and just feel like I'm knock me down but then I just stop and it goes away typical mountain weather but still wow almost there I swear this is the hardest part oh my god I gotta keep stopping Almost there, but the wind keeps pushing me around like a bully. Of course, it stops when I turn the camera on, but yeah, have to keep stopping and ducking. <laughs> Literally, right by the top, and the first time ever, wind knocked me down. Literally, knocked me down, me fall on my elbow and hurt my toe. My hurt too. I'm alright, but God, first time they literally threw me and knocked me down. Fuck. Oh, hee hee hee.
mystery box. I literally had to crawl on my on my belly to the wind. Better hurry, but the convict lake how small it looks. Some nice snow.
stopping for a little break. Nick's nuts. I was gonna try snowshoe, but it's way too steep. I mean, if I slid down, I'd probably want to put 100 miles per hour at the end. So scary. I gotta get away from this cliff. I literally just laid down on the ground holding onto a plant. The wind was so strong. I was afraid it was gonna blow me. that way it would have been a lot faster but you know it's cool I don't take no chances just going down this way do 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 now this, now this is what you call gravel surfing this is some hardcore stuff right here bro some of the hardest Cowbunga! Yeah! Nice! Better than going up. I have rocks full of shoes, but my gators aren't even helping. <sighs> anyway, doo -doo -doo. more fun. actually not too bad I take the camera out it's like pretty good gravel surfing but there were areas where it went it was shin deep I don't mind it's faster going down anyway always think I bet that's where bears hide 
that's where bears fuck. And so you go in that, and that's where, they, to me, that's where they would sleep, you know. And then you go in there and like, <laughs> made it down to the bottom, just the bottom of this valley at least. This is more just rocky, you know. My sh shoes are full of rocks. I'll empty them. Well, probably soon. I barely walk. They're so full. Yeah, if the restaurant's open, it's like 6 or 7, if the restaurant's open, close at 8, I will get a steak. I was going to wait till I did all three mountains to get a steak, but I'm feeling pretty nutritionally deficient eating those freeze dry food. After, I already bought them after I bought them, but after research I realized they're not... You don't have a lot of calories really and there's not a, like a, a lot of protein or nothing and anyway i think a steak after each mountain or at least the first two because it's close enough to civilization to be actually be able to walk and go get one and once i get out to the third one nah, too far but i think doing each mountain deserves a steak each instead of just one but I don't know if I'm gonna make it. If I don't, I don't really care. I'll be so tired, I won't give a fuck. I just, either way, it don't matter. Uh, kind of hope it's not open. I'm gonna have to walk all the way over here. It's like a whole two extra miles one way, four miles. Yeah, screw that. I just discovered there was a restaurant by the by the entrance yesterday. Walking around the lake. That's pretty cool. I'm breaking a rule. I said I was one of the stick. But I guess um, it's cool. Two is still okay. Kind of, kind of glamping, kind of cheating, but not too bad. I still been eating, eating garbage. On my birthday, though, I literally have hunt spaghetti sauce and dehydrated ground meat and noodles and seasoning. Well, my normal seasoning. So I'm going to make spaghetti for my birthday on the mountain. On the next mountain, I'll be on the mountain eating spaghetti. So that's pretty cool. Yay! Oh, I don't feel that elevation anymore. Oh, I could breathe easier and walk easier, and the wind's not trying to literally push me off the mountain. So the mountain is always trying to kill you. That's what they say. The mountains are trying to kill you, and there's always something. There's always a thunderstorm or rain or sleet when you're trying to climb up or down, or 100 mile per hour winds, or I don't know. It's just the rock. You grab a rock you think is good, or a bush, and it just breaks off. There's just always something. It's never easy, but. Uh, I might start going on trail after this this trip I'll have to see but I don't know uh, Slade told me to make a documentary complaining the whole time yeah because there is one called the range of light where they're literally like complaining saying they're never they're not coming back for 10 years they ruined their life they put their lives in danger the, all kind of shit andrew Sherka is a sadist masochist 
and all that but i don't want to do that i don't want to complain there's a lot of things to complain about uh lack of sleep and at this time it's the altitude steep incline and 100 mile per hour winds pushing me at the same time pushing me uh very steep uh no sleep altitude breathing hard with 100 mile per hour winds and i had to keep stopping until let the wind pass the bursts so i could walk i was literally trying to like it pushed me down a couple of times i never happened before in my life like a big bully just like fuck you push me down you can't make it to my top so in that way it's like they're alive they're always they always come up with something and just to make things harder that's just how life is in general but pretty extreme when it comes to mountains Anyway. Wow, I have a beautiful flower arrangement. These beautiful bluish purple flowers and this beautiful tree arrangement. All for me, for free. It looks like it was done on purpose. I mean, it's like, it's just in the middle of nowhere. It's awesome. Wow. came down the way I first came up. Still got a long ways to the camp. But yeah. Well I made it back. Oh that's a pretty rough. The mountains will add like 20 years, dude. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the walk back was not fun. I mean, in some ways, it seemed like it took longer. I don't know, I'm so hungry. I barely eat today. I need to cook. <laughs> uh, cook and stuff, you know, like, uh, uh, and get a good night's sleep. I uh, set up my tent to put my stuff in there. She can't get wet because in case it rained today. Um, but like, uh, I might sleep in here tonight. I don't know. Maybe. The big bruise I got on my arm. I don't know how. But, uh, we have Mount Whitney tattoo on my arm. Yeah, but, uh, you know, <laughs> um, what did it say? Oh, I just laid down. I have to fix food there before anything because I have to eat. You know, I could just get it passed out right now. So a total of um, 10 hours. Some people say nine, but for me it was 10. Uh, But also that no good luck at Cal Topo. Cause without Cal Topo, I mean, shh, I would have turned around at some point. I would have not known where I was going, and I came to spots that were very like straight up rock climbing, you know, class four at least, or maybe more and crumbly and shit, you know, on the ridge. And it was like I couldn't see what was past it. It was so super high points. Couldn't see what's past it, so uh, um, but 
Kaltopu said, yeah, like that was the way to go, you know, like, so there was no path, but it was the ridge, and I just couldn't see, but the rock is so crumbly, and uh, I can't trust but when you grab a rock, like, you know, and yeah, but I did it, I woke up this morning too, feeling like shit. Super tired, sick feeling, like just walking to the lake and back to get water was a chore, and I don't know, can't believe I did it, uh, no sleep and no food all day, <laughs> but I did it, yay! On to Morrison next. Yeah, I'm so glad I set the tent. Raining. And look at that. Looks. Can't even see on the phone. It's Morrison covered with covered with the rain and stuff. I don't know. Hopefully, it doesn't rain all day and the sun comes out or something. I don't know. Yeah. Well, nothing can do.